Okay, towards war. Let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on for my beautiful and my handsome Taurus. Okay. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Taurus. I'm sending all that love back to you guys tenfold. Okay. So let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return and spell work me dark magic that is sent to harm Taurus and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Taurus. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Taurus. So let's see, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on here for Taurus? Spiritualist, searching for meaning in life, discovering the magic around you, manifestation, the spirit realm, lined up, casual dating, keeping options open, multiple love interests, non-committal. Mm. New boo, new love, new chance in love, exploring feelings, honeymoon stage. Bottom of the deck is salty. Sudden change of mood. Feeling someone did you wrong, upset, bitter, annoyed, and jealous. So somebody's jealous of the fact that you have a new boo here, Taurus. You could be a spiritualist. This could, or this could be like a weird ass spiritualist jealous of the fact that you have a new boo or whatever. Or because You could be a spiritualist, Taurus. You could have broken somebody up or like they're blaming you. Maybe you could be advising someone or you're you're somebody's reader or you're 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 teaching somebody how to um tap into their spirit the spiritual side of themselves possibly. <clears throat> or um you're showing somebody something. Okay, let's see. I'm getting too many messages. What's this for Taurus? Yeah, the Temperance Sagittarius. What's spiritual is here? The Nine of Wands. So, Sag Moon. So I feel like you're you're persevering through something, you're fighting through something here. This is definitely I feel like this nine of wands could talk about too protection. Okay, of course, you're a spiritualist here. If that's your job, if that's what you're meant to do in this lifetime, you're always gonna be protected. That's just period. So I don't know what somebody got going on, but with spiritualists here with the nine of wands, this could be like you feeling defensive or guarded. Okay, yeah, five of pentacles. So somebody feels abandoned or left out in the cold or some of you guys or somebody here could be persevering through some sort of financial struggles or hardships or whatever. Taurus Mercury. I feel like you're getting close to getting something. But maybe you could feel defensive or guarded. Like you feel like you need to leave somebody out in the cold. Or you're the spiritualist that's telling somebody like, yeah, you need to leave somebody out in the cold. And they're doing it. So now somebody's mad because they have to find a new boo or a new bitch or whatever. <laughs> and you're somewhere booed up somewhere. So they're like, yeah, well, they're just mad. They're mad because their relationship fell apart. And yours are thriving or, or flourishing. It's because you're doing what you need to do as a spiritualist. If you're helping people understand that they're with a bunch of losers. then And they're breaking up with these losers. That's because they're ascending. That's your job. You're supposed to help people ascend. So if they got to leave a punk ass hoe. If you got to leave a punk ass hoe. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Somebody mad because they need to be go talk to God about it. Because God told you to do that. And bitch if you got a problem with God. Then you're just going to be having problems. So, so what's the nine of wands? <laughs> like God don't got time for that shit either. Yeah, this bitch ass queen of pentacles in reverse. Could be a Capricorn or whatever. Yeah, Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and water. Yeah, Earth and water. They got Earth and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a weak ass chart. So yeah, somebody doing all this weak ass magic, or somebody here is a gold digger, a scam artist. Someone that's a cheater, they're, li they're a liar, they're disloyal, they do black magic, or they're just very jealous spirited, spirited. and mean-spirited. What's the Nine of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? They're also a bad mother. 
horrible mother here. Yeah, the seven of souls reverse, Aquarius moon. So something could be being revealed about this queen of pentacles in reverse. So they got caught doing something. Or somebody's consciousness is kicking in about this queen of pentacles in reverse and the magic that they're doing or the fact they're, they're a rude hoe. Yeah, the queen of cups reverse and the ten of cups in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine. We got Pisces, Mars. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be trying to steal credit for your work here. They're very two-faced. This is a this could be like a friend of this Queen of Cups or this they weak ass mama doing spell work for them or something like that. This Queen of Cups is the one upset about their family dynamic falling apart. It's because this could be this bitch's mother. Their their family is using whoever this Ten of Cups, whoever this is that broke up with them for money, possibly. This is a gold digging ass family. Okay, so what's the five of pentacles? A bunch of loser hoes that can't make money on their own. They gotta use somebody else for something. Full reverse Aquarius. So somebody refusing to change here or refusing to transform or too scared to take a leap of faith that are staying in the five of pentacles. What's the five of pentacles here with the full reverse? Or somebody's acting a fool because they asked got left out in the cold. Yeah, the page of swords in reverse. So somebody took a dumbass leap of faith somewhere because they're scatterbrained or they didn't get enough information about a situation. <clears throat> Definitely earth and air. So this could be like malicious gossip. Somebody here lied or, or gave someone the wrong information about something on purpose to cause somebody to be in the five of pentacles. Or somebody's using magic to cause somebody to, to be scatterbrained, to cause them to fear their transformation or whatever. What's the full reverse, man? This could be a dark spiritualist, this bitch right here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Saturn. Yeah, somebody here made a foolish decision. They made a bad investment. Or this could be somebody pulling out of something and taking their power back or their energy back out of a situation because there's no growth. Or whatever, so now somebody's acting a fool because they're getting left out in the cold. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe this is you where you left somebody out in the cold because they're too easily distracted by a queen of pentacles in reverse. Or they're letting this weak ass magic get to them, it, but it's because they're not changing. So you're done. You pulled your energy out of it. You don't have time to be dealing with somebody that's not going to see what the fuck they need to be seeing to grow and change their life. So what's page of swords reverse? Yeah, the magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. <clears throat> so yeah, this is... Uh, somebody's like evil on your manifestations so or they're trying to curse whatever you're trying to manifest. Somebody here could be trying to cause setbacks and delays. I feel like you're getting close to something. If this is somebody you're dealing with and you're actually with this person and they're having a problem with changes or whatever, in order for them to get to a better financial state, they're going to have to change. They ain't got no choice. <clears throat> but the magician is having clarity. Seeing things very clear, manifesting the things that you want and desire. Your manifestations are coming, but I just feel like you need to research more, educate yourself more on something, or take a look at something deeper than what you have been. What's the page of souls reverse magician? Excuse me. Yeah, the eight of wands in reverse. <laughs> this would be somebody here getting bad news. Page of souls in reverse is like a plan that's not working. And something is going back because you're standing in your power. Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. Something is reversing. It's not working because you have a clear head, a clear mental. So this spiritual warfare, whatever somebody's trying to wage on you, it's not fucking working. You're getting real close to something too and they know it. Okay, and? <laughs> like somebody's on your, they're on your dick here, Taurus, because something about them fell apart. And I feel like they don't have shit to do with you. Sag Saturn. Mm. You guys will be seeing 717.
or 777 what's this lined up casual dating keeping options open the king of cups <laughs> and the hierophant taurus here we got scorpio or it could be scorpio libra cusper so yeah union the hierophant with the king of cups this is a high priest here so you could be this could be counterpart energy you're with this person or this is this masculine or something like that but somebody's like awakening to their gifts or this is somebody that's very emotionally mature very empathetic they're very gifted and talented very very creative this person could be really romantic too so this could be your masculine what's the king of cups the nine of cups i mean the nine of pentacles reverse virgo venus So a gold digger, somebody here is a gold digger, a scam artist, or this could be exploitation. Somebody's exploiting someone. <clears throat> Whoever this bitch is right here, they're a con artist. What's the King of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Somebody here is codependent on this King of Cups. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody with the Page of Pentacles, this could be like a, a cult and esoteric knowledge. Somebody's definitely like a reader. So this Nine of Pentacles in reverse person could be exploiting you. Or they're like stealing your work or, and doing something with it. Or they're trying to pretend to be you or something like that with their weird ass. What's this, what's this Nine of Pentacles reverse? Some of you guys are overspending. You need to watch your spending as well. Or this is somebody that lives beyond their means. They're trying to look like they're something that they're not. But they're exploiting you here. Somebody's taking your work and acting like you to impress somebody else. And I feel like they're really unimpressed. So what's the nine of pentacles reverse with the ace of pentacles? The the judgment. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoever this queen of pentacles is right here, they just want everybody that you got. Like, they, they're trying to figure out who you're dating. I feel like you're actually with somebody. You don't want no short-term relationships, and that's not where you're going to be at. I'm like, this hoe. I feel like they ass getting left because they're a loser. So now this is somebody that's just on you heavy. Like, they just want everybody or everything that you got. Even if you're not with their ex, if you was with their ex in the past, it's like, bitch, you're an ex for a reason. People, need to, people are going to move on with their life. They're going to date other people. Somebody's just mad because you're an upgrade. <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting here. They're just like, yeah, well, I'm just going to go try and be a home record to everybody that you with. Because I'm a hoe and I'm a loser and like that. As if this divine masculine is going to want you. They're not. So move on with your life or you get your feelings hurt in this reading. Or they're already being hurt. So that should be a tall tale sign for you to get the fuck on about your business. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. Somebody's a loser. So the judgment here with the Ace of Pentacles. So there's getting, getting ready to be some sort of renewal with your finances or this is something here you're stepping into your purpose with the ace of pentacles and the judgment there's something that's going on with your finances or this could be your masculine and whoever this is trying to live beyond their means they're like right in the middle of something or they need something or they codependent i feel like yeah i don't know but there's gonna really be a level up with your stability and security definitely a new job or a new career path or a new gift that you're tapping into, that you're getting ready to step into, just period. The Temperance, yeah, what's this Page of Pentacles? Yeah, the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Jupiter. What's Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles? The Four of Wands in reverse, Aries, Venus, okay yeah so that so okay for some of you through a tarot reading somebody here got called out for cheating they're, they're juggling okay this is like somebody living a double life or um somebody's having a hard time right now with their finances and keeping up some sort of um <laughs> mm. 
keeping up some sort of um financial uh responsibilities like the bills and things somebody could be getting foreclosed on this could also be too this is a spiritualist in a community that's like attacking you they're trying to be you whoever this is for some of you guys if you're a reader tours this is them but they just lose their fucking ass this is a whole damn community or this is like um things are fluctuating for somebody somebody is having a hard time doing something or keeping up with you you're like i'm getting so much shit man they're first okay for some of you there's a contract that's over this person is mad because you were with somebody that they were with that, that's what i'm getting i feel like they're upset that's that's number one they're a fake ass spiritualist and they're trying to keep a man with this weak ass spell work that they're doing and you're a real spiritualist so you're letting people know like this is the kind of shit that they are dealing with a bunch of loser ass bitches that can't do shit for themselves that keep on doing this weak ass spell work to keep you around that's what you're you're doing your damn job that's number one so they trying to fuck with your money your income when it comes down to you being a reader because they don't like the fact that you expose they dumb ass that's that's number one number two this person here, they're trying to like beat you or something like that. Four of, Pent Four of Wands in reverse, it's like, um, this could be somebody here jilting a home, abandoning a home here and being more open and adaptable and flexible to like new opportunities because somebody's tired of living the same mundane lifestyle there. It's like there's a lack of support somewhere with the Four of Wands in reverse. There's a lack of support here with the Four of Wands reverse, man. There's a cancer celebration too. This could be a whole community of people that don't support somebody or a whole family that's not supporting somebody. So the two of pentacles is being flexible, adapting to change here. Or you're just, you're adapting to something. Let me see. What's four ones reverse? I feel like somebody here too is like, they're a cheater. <laughs> they just keep on doing okay what's four ones reverse <laughs> the strength leo energy so yeah overcoming obstacles and challenges yeah so i feel like there's a there's a contract here that's over for some of you guys if you had a spiritual contract or a spiritual union with this queen of pentacles and the reverse is x or whatever that contract is over and this contract is over too if you were dealing with somebody that they were dealing with and you didn't know that they were still going back and forth with this bitch right here this was a part of your purpose you had to experience whatever this person was throwing at you to ascend spiritually this is a spiritualist trying to attack another spiritualist that's ascending and leveling up in their journey that's what this is. You had to go through this shit, shit with this bitch, though. And whoever this is that's attached to this hoe because of your spiritual contract. That's just what, what was written. You had to experience the masculine that was attached to this hoe. Or whatever is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm channeling that. So, and you overcame the challenges. Because whatever spell work they threw at you, or whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. You overcame it. Leo energy, you found the strength and the courage to do what you needed to do. What's the two of pentacles? And now it's time for you maybe to level up in your career as a spiritual leader or spiritual practitioner. Or you are now in union with a twin or something like that. So that is a level up because you, your abundance could be tied to this person. You guys are supposed to be working together. This, this masculine could actually be a part of this queen of pentacles. They're ascending. They're going through an ascending process or ascension process because they're actually a divine masculine. It doesn't have to be that they're your divine masculine. They're ascending to a higher level of ascension, a higher level of consciousness. So that's what spirit does. Get you to work with somebody to help. Y'all both help each other ascend in ways. And that's what happened. And this bitch is mad. They're upset. So, okay. Yeah, somebody keep on trying to speak curses over somebody's finances. Yeah, this King of Pentacles that's with this this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> Child, what the fuck is this? Uh, or you could be dealing with two different situations that are like similar. What's they marry each other, but one is just who you're meant to be with, and the other is not. What's this damn um? Somebody is so scatterbrained and they don't see that this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a fucking clown or either they do and they're working with them, but it's backfiring on them because you got with a bitch thinking that you was going to get over on whoever you are towards or whatever, flip the roles. And that's not the case. It's going to backfire. So what's two of Pentacles? Mm. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, period. What's two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands? The hangman, Pisces. So we we can uh 
this could be Aries Pisces Cusper. Pisces here with the Hangman and Scorpio with the Death Card Reverse. Somebody could be trying to swap here. They're trying to destiny swap or do something like that here with you and your energy. The Queen of Wands, I feel like, is you feeling inspired, <clears throat> feeling very creative, passionate about something, and feeling confident. You have a high self-esteem. I feel like you're sexy as fuck. You look good as fuck. So somebody here was taking something of yours or they trying to, like, interfere with your energy in some way or there's something to do with how you look. I feel like you put a lot of passion into what you're doing this is the real whoever this person is whoever you are toward that's you so somebody is now shifting their perspective with the hangman or this is you shifting your perspective you're releasing something or letting something go or somebody's inspired by you to to release it release something and let something go the death card in the reverse Yeah, somebody refusing to change, refusing to transform, or somebody here is, hasn't let you go. What's the death card reverse? <clears throat> yeah, the two of cups in the reverse. What's death card reverse, two of cups reverse? <laughs> the will of fortune, yeah, and the three of wands in the reverse. Aries, sun, cancer, Venus, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the will of fortune. Could be Sagittarius or Pisces too with the Jupiter energy. So like I, like I said, it's not your, somebody's still holding on to your energy. I feel like it's this bitch and it's somebody else too that's hiding. They're not showing up really. But I just feel like that's not your fault. Two of Cups in Reverse is a breakup. This could be this bitch going through this breakup. You've inspired somebody to see what the real is about these hoes and they're, they've broken up. There's There will be no reconciliation or whatever. Somebody's still trying to soul tie with somebody or keep somebody stuck or bound to them. Will of Fortune is... Good fortune, good luck, good karma. I feel like things turning in your favor. Yeah, so something is changing with this fucking soul tie. It's done with. Three of Wands in reverse is a lack of expansion or growth or a, a, not having a sense of foresight. Somebody can't see into something that you're doing. Somebody could be do, trying to do death spells or they're trying to do some sort of breakup spells, separation spells or whatever. I feel like you didn't already moved on with your life. Or they're trying to still attach themselves to you and it's not working to try to get something off your energy. It's not working, Taurus. It's clear that it's not. Yeah, I feel like you have control over yourself, too. It's like somebody's trying to make you make impulsive decisions or trying to have you out here being non-committal or whatever this is. I feel like somebody don't know who the fuck you are. I don't know if they're trying to, like, if they think that you're too weak or they think that you're going to be out here being a hoe. I feel like somebody's trying to make you look like that with magic. They're trying to do magic to steer you left off your path to, to take your spot while you out here looking crazy. Somebody here thinks that you're weak, and that's what's crazy to me. It's like, bitch, do you know who the fuck you're fucking with with your weak bitch ass? And like somebody here don't know who the fuck they they fucking with. I mean, I'm pretty sure they don't. If they sit up here doing this, they're delusional. It's the magic backfiring. Something is wrong with somebody's mentally or the devil. Something's wrong with somebody's mind. Like for real, for real. There could be a failed long distance relationship here too. It was destined for you to meet somebody here. It wasn't destined for y'all to be together. There's incompatibilities. And it's not your fault that they're still holding on to your energy or this bitch is still trying to pull on your energy to impress this man in your energy. Like, that's weird. Because I feel like that's a, there's a man here. Yeah, this person, it could be this Knight of Pentacles. They have attachments here. Or... It's like somebody who wants you to lose something of value or something like that so you can go be with somebody that's like taking a sweet ass time to give you an offer or a commitment or they're trying to make you feel impatient. They're trying to make you feel, they're trying to make, tempt you to like come back to them or tempt you to do something here. It's like weird and you're not tempted to do anything but stay where the fuck you at. What's this damn hard thing? <laughs> like, what's the hard thing? Somebody's still trying to do these spiritual games on you and they don't know where you're at in your, on your journey spiritually. Yeah, the four swords in reverse, Libra, Jupiter. So an awakening. Finding that mental strength again. <clears throat> Rejoining the world. What's the what's the what's the higher from with the four of swords in reverse? <laughs> the ace of swords in the reverse and the hermit reverse. Exactly. Virgo energy. We got 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you know whoever this is, right? I feel like this is masculine showing up. Somebody's refusing to, to do their shadow work. This could be somebody that's paranoid or scared or they're stuck in fear. Okay, and they're making the wrong decisions. Whoever this is is scatterbrained. They've already made the wrong decision or this is somebody in a hostile environment with these two bitches. They're in a hostile environment. Somebody here could be sick or not feeling well either. But I feel like... um. Somebody here made the wrong decision because they're not, they're choosing not to do the shadow work. If you're with already a high priest, a divine masculine that's stepping into their ascension process, that's where you need to stay at. They, they should be showing you signs that they're the right one for you. Okay, so all this trying to confuse you about who the fuck you're supposed to be with is just crazy. It's not working. The emperor in reverse, four pentacles reverse. No. Somebody that, that doesn't have any structure, discipline focus absolutely not so okay what's the ace of swords reverse real quick something here failed with the ace of swords reverse somebody feels like a failure or there definitely will be no fucking breakthrough whatever this is yeah the king of wands in reverse somebody trying to compete this this your ex or this is somebody here that went down the wrong path and they're trying to confuse you about this King of Wands in reverse when you've already elevated in your life. So, I mean, or this King of Wands in reverse is also competing with you. They're trying to get this dark spiritualist to do magic on you, just throw you off your path. And you're not moving, you're not budging. Or whatever. So. Yeah, somebody here is a false leader that's competing with you. I feel like they are... Um, they're scatterbrained or they're frustrated or they want to argue or they're getting into a lot of arguments and spats or with people around them. What's the Ace of Swords reverse with the King of Wands in reverse? <laughs> I feel like you outsmarted this person, the Seven of Swords, or this could be this person trying to run away from their consequences. They're scared of something. They're trying to run away from their consequences or their actions. Or this is just a bitch that don't want to heal. And this Queen of Pentacles in reverse wants to fight you about this weak ass King of Wands in reverse. You don't want them. They're mad that this King of Wands in reverse maybe don't want to be with them or whatever they think is your fault. And it probably is because you could be a spiritualist. <laughs> like, But I feel like this person too is a loser. So whatever. Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Cubs. You guys would be saying Nine, Nine, Nine. Pisces, Jupiter here. And Gemini, Mars. So somebody's being haunted. They're in deep regret about something. Nine of Cups could be somebody here with that, that's famous or there's recognition. There's success, prosperity, accolades. Or somebody regrets having sex with someone because <laughs> that was the wrong decision. Or they regret looking at you as just somebody to have sex with and you sitting over here in a whole nine of cups. Happy, satisfied, content. <clears throat> Making your bread. You ain't got shit to be worrying about. Or you're getting your wish for, wishes fulfilled. Or somebody's getting a laugh out of somebody here somebody's like making a fool of someone and this king of wands in reverse just thinks that they're so that they're doing the right thing by being bitter or a tyrant or a loser and they're not this queen of pentacles in reverse could be doing magic on this king of wands to get them to act out or get them to be a certain kind of way or whatever and they think for some of you this person is saying that it's you that's doing it and it's not <laughs> they think this person is being told by this queen of pentacles in reverse that you're the one doing magic or you're the one trying to block their blessings and it's not is them and so they're getting a laugh out of it they're getting a laugh at seeing this king of wands looking crazy this person here could also be reckless sexually they could have addictions here a lot of uh demonic attachments to them because they're possessed by something mm, it's a lot of shit going on what's the harm in reverse <laughs> like or they regret trying to bind themselves to your energy to attach themselves to get your blessings they're not getting a fucking thing here what's the hell in reverse the six of wands yeah yeah somebody that's seen in the public eye yeah the world the nine of cups and the six of wands leo jupiter so something is being publicized or this is just you feeling comfortable happy you're receiving the recognition and the rewards that you deserve here the love that you deserve i feel like you're moving forward with your life <laughs> and i feel like some of you guys are already with somebody it's a new boo 
Yeah, Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're focused on that. Somebody with this weak ass magic. I feel like they're doing that on this King of Wands in reverse, making they ass look and act a fool. And you don't care because that ain't got shit to do with you. So what's new, boo? <laughs> yeah, the Five of Wands in reverse. Leo Saturn. So yeah, there's no argument or fighting going on with you and this this new boo. Or this could be somebody that you actually had a falling out with, but you guys made up. And now it's because probably you're meant to be together. It's probably something too where it's it's not irreconcilable. You could actually reconcile with somebody because it could have just been whatever issues there was. It's clear now. You're meant to be with your whoever this new boo is. That could actually be your counterpart. So you already made it there. <laughs> like what's new boo with the five of wands reverse or somebody's realizing that there's no competition somebody can't go up against this new boo because they're they're meant to be in your life so, not, so now somebody don't want to fight no more what's the new boo with the five of wands reverse they don't want to compete or whatever yeah this king of swords gemini libra aquarius you could be with a gem an air sign that has integrity respect okay there's somebody that stands up for themselves they're a leader they're honest yeah integrity honesty same thing but yeah what's king of swords the ace of cups in reverse what's king of swords ace of cups reverse cancer pisces scorpio and the temperance so this king of swords right here for some of you if this is your new boo right here this person is is healing okay they're learning how to speak up for themselves or set boundaries here or put their foot down in the situation this could this could be this person healing repressed trauma or repressed pain from their past or something like that. Somebody here is learning the power of alchemy and transmuting energy. But this is definitely peace and harmony, definitely a reconciliation for sure. So what I'm getting with this, I, I don't get that you are um getting ready to be with somebody that's leaving a bitch like this now you could be because I something is new here this is new i'm getting your actual counterpart they're human and they're going through changes internally so yeah they're healing some sort of trauma and they're actually doing the work though yeah three of pentacles y'all can actually work together versus somebody here that's codependent they lost something of value because they wanted to be non-committal and then they chose wrong the lovers in reverse six of swords in reverse they went back to something because they don't have any backbone because they can't stand up to this empress in reverse and the three of cups in reverse they can't stand up to whomever they fucking are chilling around or whoever their baby mama is or whoever so this is that's the wrong lover and now you're with the right one so if this bitch thing they gonna come in between that, they're not. They might as well stay over there and fuck with whoever the fuck this dumb asshole is. This damn person that went back to your sorry ass Queen of Pentacles reverse. Or whoever. What's the Five of Wands reverse? Or this bitch is just somebody that's sitting back watching you go through changes in your twin flame journey or your, your love life and they're like laughing about it. Or this is somebody that got hired to do something, to do some sort of magic to you or whatever this is. I feel like you bitches are not laughing now, huh? It's not funny no more. What's the Five of Wands reverse? <laughs> okay like yeah the chariot what's the five of wands reverse the chariot cancer yeah two of swords in reverse so libra moon here so yeah clear decision has been made something has been revealed here with the two of swords in reverse and you're pushing through challenges and obstacles you're not at a stalemate if you are experiencing challenges i feel like you're pushing through them with the uh or this is your masculine over here this is under new boo so this could be talking about your new boo and what they're doing as far as like how things are, are moving in their life or in y'all's journey together or whatever so somebody is mad because you out here helping masculines awaken and they sitting over here trying to ruin their life i feel like okay well be mad bitch be mad oh well or whatever <laughs> whoever the bitch is i don't know not gonna read on that too long though towards we see who they are it is what it is somebody's jealous of your journey as a whole these could be somebody just watching your love life they just are pathetic Give 
me a few of these for Taurus, please. Soul agreements, exactly. Soul mission, soul plan, life purpose. It was like somebody's on your dick. They need to fucking get off of it. ASAP. We have temple. The wisdom within. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet in external noise. So quiet. Be quiet. Okay. <laughs> or, or sit in silence. Find your center. Stay true to you. Call it to you. Exactly. The guardian stone. Awakening progress and initiation. That's this new boo over here. Your new boo is being initiated. They're going through an awakening process. And so are you in a different way though. I feel like this is who you with. That's your new boo? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Somebody here trying to stir you left or off your path because they're competing. And this King of Wands is too with they bitter ass. I feel like they're in for a root of awakening though or they're already getting it because you're already with your person and they're not budging. You're not moving. You know who you're supposed to be with. So, okay. Good luck, hoes. <laughs> good luck to you, bitches. Y'all just bored, I guess. Nothing else better to do. So... So it says your soul had a dream and your life is it. Before you drew your first breath, your soul chose the perfect conditions for your return. It dreamed up the specifics for your soul's growth and journey. We all came here with a soul plan, a wish to be brought to life. Soul agreement is a card of destiny and purpose. Do you sense that you're at an important juncture in your life? Has something significant happened or does it feel like it's beckoning you forth? Is a new relationship, creation, trip, opportunity or agreement tugging your awakening heart, urging you to allow it to come to form? This may be something that truly excites you or it could be something you've been resisting or both. This card appears when you're experiencing something important from a soul perspective. It reminds you that what you're journeying through right now was chosen by your soul. It's a situation or experience that will result in your soul's growth. And while we have free will, we also have opportunities to say yes to moments in our life that we that were prearranged. And when we do, things seem to fall into place. It's a highly auspicious moment as we can feel at a soul level, the deep relief in knowing that we've arrived at an important juncture and can now create what we came here to create or be in relationship with other souls we agreed to meet. This is a card of purpose, path, and passion. It often appears as a confirmation that we're on track and that what we're currently doing or about to embark on is a part of our soul's highest and deepest path. Exactly. Somebody trying to get you to fuck up at the, at the big breakthrough absolutely not ancient stones activation i say yes to my soul's highest and deepest plan i'm ready to be led every step of the way yeah mm -hmm. <sighs> so yeah taurus this was your reading i hope this reading gave you lots of clarity like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on taurus um, press the all button so you guys won't miss my readings and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.